Hello and welcome to day three of the London Mums Fitness 14 day challenge. So we are doing lower body today, we've done our total body, we've done our upper body, now we're doing our lower body today. Okay, so you just need one dumbbell, that's all you need for today's workout, a little bit of space and some water to hand. So we're going to be doing the same thing as we did in the past two days. We've got 10 different exercises repeated twice through, 45 seconds on each one with 15 second break in between. Make sure you've done a good solid warm up at the start. There are lots on the London Mums Fitness YouTube channel that you'll find on there. We'll just do a 30 second little one now, but make sure you're really nicely warmed up, especially in this cold weather. Okay, are we ready to go? Let's get started. So, just a nice light jog on the spot just to gradually get that heart rate up. So you can either jog on the spot or march. I'm just going to open up those hips. Fantastic. And taking it in. Have your hands on your hips for stability. And so our first workout exercise is front squat. So picking up your weight. Take it nice and low, and squatting down and up for 45 seconds. Really getting down as low as possible, thrusting the hips to the top, squeeze those glutes. So this is just one weight I'm using here, or if you've got a tin or a bottle, either is great. Pushing up, tummy tight, inhale down, Exhale, coming up, 15 seconds to go. Great work, team. Inhale. Less than five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest it there, shake it up. Right, holding the weight in one hand. One foot forward, one foot back. I'll show you from the side. And I'm gonna be doing the lunging pulses. Okay, so just wrapping it up and down. The weight is in the same side as the forward leg. And let's go up and down. Making sure you've got a 90 degree bend in that front knee and back knee. Shoulders up, looking forward. Taking that knee all the way down. So it's just touching the floor. And coming straight back up. Putting the weight in that front foot, the front heel. Exhale, push up. Your tummy's nice and tight. Pulling everything up. Great work, team. Less than 10 seconds to go. Exhale, push up. Feel that burn. In three, in two, in one. And shake it off. Other side, so switch the hand with the weight. Other foot forward. So the weight is in the same side as the foot forward. Nice long stride forward so the knee doesn't go over the toe. And let's go. Wrapping it out. Inhale down. See how my knee doesn't go over my toe? Nice to be bent in the front and the back leg. Can you come nice and low? Feeling it in both legs. Exhale, push up. Tummy tight. Shoulders back and down. So you can drop the weight whenever you want. Inhale down, exhale, push up. Less than 10 seconds. Take it up. Really good work. In three, two, give me one more. And shake it off. Right, coming down into a single leg glute bridge. So you can have the weight here if you want to. Lying on your back, one leg up in the air, and I'm just going to shoot that leg up. Great work. Really squeezing that bum at the top, getting into that glute. So you either have the weight here, resting on your hips, or you can put the weight to the side, whichever is easier. That's right, 45 seconds on one side, 45 seconds on the other. Push up. Nice. Less than 10 seconds to go. Really squeeze that glute to the top. Feel that hamstring working. Feel that glute activate. Three, two, 
one and rest it there. Ooh, shake it off. You should feel nice. Those muscles waking up. Ready for the other leg? Foot up. Leg in. Three, two, one, and pushing it up. Exhale, push up. So give it a little pause at the top to squeeze that bum. So remember, you can put this weight to your side. And this exercise is fantastic if you're pregnant as well. It's also great for your pelvic floor postpartum. Really good work. Pushing it up, 15 seconds. Having that foot up really focuses on the leg that's down. Exhale, push up, squeeze that glute at the top. One more, and resting it there. Right, coming up with that weight, and we're doing a sumo pulse squat. So take our feet nice and wide. I'm just going to be squatting it and holding it down, pulsing it. Let's go. Really good work. So the weight is up by our chest and our legs are really wide now. Toes pointing out, pushing those knees out to get into the inner thigh. And we're just getting down nice and low, pulling up on that pelvic floor. Okay, so you want to make sure you're nice and tight in here. Don't let it all be relaxed. Pull it up tight. 15 seconds to go. You should feel it in the boom, in the boom, in the bum. Great work. Nearly there, less than 10. In five, four, three, two, one, and rest, shake it off. Right, I think that wasn't enough. Squat hold. Are you ready? We're gonna hold the weight low. It's gonna hang low. Okay, feet wide, I'm just going to hold the squat. So the weight here really helps with that posture. Okay, so it keeps our neck up, shoulders back and down, chest back. You don't want to be leaning forward, lean it back. Okay, be proud of yourself, proud that you're on day three, getting it done. And the weight is pulling you down, pulling up on that pelvic floor. Weight in the heels, you should be able to lift your toes up. And we've already only got 10 seconds to go. Doing good. Fantastic, hold it. In six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest, shake it off. Right, placing the weight down on the floor gently. Hands on the hips, or if you've got something to hold onto the side, we're gonna do a kick back. So having both feet forward, hips pointing forward, starting our left leg and kicking back. So feel that glute at the back tighten. So if you haven't got anything to hold on to, your hands are on the side and you're kicking it back. So you want to make sure both hips are constantly pointing forward. Okay, tummy tight, shoulders back and down, kicking back with the heel. And not pointed toe. Flex foot, that's right, 45 on one side, 45 on the other. So this is great for your, the whole thing of this workout is lower body, glutes, hamstrings, quads, getting a nice peachy bottom. One more, and rest, shake it off. Right, we're to the other side, so once again, hips pointing forward, slight bend to the knee, shift the weight to that side, and then kicking back. You can have the toe to touch in the middle each time, otherwise, just kicking it back. Let's go each time. Really good. So, you can, progression here is you can add a resistance band and have it around your ankles if you want to make it a little bit harder. But for today, it's just a single dumbbell workout. Keep those toe hips pointing forward. Think about you've got your traffic lights. Squeeze that bum at the back. Squeeze. Less than 10 seconds to go. Doing good. Nice work. In five, four, three, 
two, and one, rest it there. Right, now we're going to come down on our front, we're into a plank position, low plank, and we're basically alternating, kicking our legs up with a flexed toe. Okay, I'll show you from the side. Ready? Let's go kicking up, keeping that bum down once again, keeping those hips pointing down to the floor, alternating the legs. This is our last exercise in this round team. Great work. Squeeze that bum at the top, really feel, feel it deep into that glute. Tummy tight. You should get into the core as well. All right, we've got 10 seconds to go. Stick with me. Doing good. Kick back. In five, four, three, two, one, and rest at their team. One down, one to go. Doing so well. It's halfway through, 10 minutes to go. Picking up that weight gently. Hold it nice and close to your chest. We've got squats up and down. Let's go. Thrust the hips at the top. Let's get nice and low. Tummy tight. Shift from the side, coming down. Thrusting the hips forward at the top. Tummy tight. Chest up, shoulders down. Keep that core turned on tight. Down. Thrust it forward. 15 seconds. Inhale, exhale, push. Come on. Exhale, push. Three, two, one, and rest it there. Right, we're into our lunges. So, right foot forward, um, weight in the same right hand, hands on your hips, we'll show you forward this time. Nice degree bend, and let's go. Getting that back knee, just so it's about to touch the floor, and push right back up. Heart rate should be coming up now, or well, actually should already be up. Great work team. Keep that tummy tight. Inhale down, exhale up. Over halfway, pushing up. Great work. So your weight is in the front heel, those toes should be able to lift up. And you get more into the quads there. Two, one, and shake it off. Ooh, definitely feel a good burn here. Right, switching over. Other side. One foot forward, one foot back. Nice and long stride to make sure that knee does not go over the toe. Nice degree bend in front and back. Let's go. Great work. So you can either have your hand out or hand on your hip. And you can have the weight or you can drop the weight, whichever you find easier. Really good. Pushing up. Awesome. 20 seconds to go. Oh, I feel that burn. This is awesome work, guys. And remember, I'm doing this live with you. There's no edits at all. So I'm feeling this burn. No burn, no change. The burn is where change happens. So stick to the end and shake it off. Right, coming down to the floor into our single leg loop bridge. Okay, so with or without the weight, the weight is on your hips. Line back, leg up, and let's go, pushing it up. Push it up. This really gets into the hamstrings and the glutes here. This gets that lift of the glutes that you want. Keep that leg up, push those hips up to the sky. Exhale, push up, squeeze that glute at the top. So you should feel most of it in the leg that's down on the floor. And if this is too much, you can put both feet down on the floor. Okay? Less than 10 seconds to go. In three, in two, 
in one. Oh, that is a burn. Oh, feel it right here in the hamstring and in that glute. Right, other side. Two, one, and let's go. And push up. So the weight is on your hips. Great work, team. Push those hips up to the sky. Feel it in that standing leg. I'm certainly feeling this burn. Right, 20 seconds to go. Come on, let's take it to the end. Really nearly there. If you need to break any time, jump back in when you're ready. Three, two, one, and resting it there. Right, sumo pulse squat. Taking that weight up to your chest, nice and close, legs out nice and wide, toes pointing out, and we're pulsing it. We're staying down low, okay? Chest up, hips tilted forward, not back. Tuck it under those hips and get down nice and low. So remember you can drop the weight at any time. Really good. We're really getting into these glutes now, ladies. This is great for pregnancy, great for postpartum as well. Because when you're pregnant, your posterior chain, which is your back chain, the whole of your backside, it naturally weakens because your center of gravity shifts forward. So working your glutes during pregnancy and afterwards is so vital. And rest it there. Woo, shake it off. Place that weight down. Right, sumo squat hold. Are we ready? That weight is here to hold us down and to open up our chest. And let's hold it. So you can have the weight, or if you place the weight down, put your hands up. I'm shaking the side. So my chest is up, got a straight line. Okay? Or you hold the weight like so. Chest is up. You need to stretch out. Just jump back in it when you're ready. Just keep those shoulders back. Tummy tight, bum down. Weight in the heels, you should be able to lift your toes up here. I'll show you back and forward. Just important to show from different angles. Less than 10 seconds. Come on team, right, everyone get a little bit lower. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Oh my word. That is intense. Place that weight down. Right, our donkey kicks. We'll do our donkey kicks on the floor this time. So, feet hip width apart, knees under your hips, and we're kicking it back and forward. Once again, leaving that heel, starting my left leg again. My shoulders are over my wrists, so I'm in a perfect box, 90 degree, everywhere. Looking forward, I'm not looking back at my knees, I want to make sure I've got a straight line from my neck down the back to my bottom so I can easily put a plate of colourful food on my back. 10 seconds to go. Just two more exercises after this and we're done. In three, two, one, and rest. Give your hips a little wiggle. So reset again, knees hip width apart, underneath the hips, nice box, shoulders over the wrists, kicking that right leg back, and let's go. So once again, making sure both hips are pointing forward, as if you've got lights on those hips of yours, and you want to keep them shining forward to the floor. You don't want them going out to the side. Okay, I don't want to be kicking up my legs to the side. Keep those hips forward. Right, we've got 20 seconds to go, over halfway. Kicking it back, squeeze that glute to the back. One more exercise after this and we're done. Doing guys so well. Keep that tummy tight. In five, in four, three, two, 
and one. Rest it there. Right, final exercise. Are we ready? So in our low plank, we're kicking our legs up to get into that glute even more. So low position. Okay, holding our low bum down and kick those legs up. Squeeze that glute. Once again, my shoulders are over my elbows. My head and eyes are looking down at my hands. They're not looking back. So as soon as I look back, my bum comes up. I want to keep my bum down. Technique is so important. It's not about how many reps you want here. It's all about technique and getting into those targeted muscles. Okay, here it's our lower body and our core. We've got less than 10 seconds to go. Take it to the end. In five, four, three, one more each side. Oh, fantastic. Stretching your back, gently coming up. Roll that spine up. Absolutely amazing work. Heel forward, weight on the opposite knee. So make sure you do a really, really, really good cool down. There's some videos on the London Moms Fitness YouTube channel here. So make sure you do a good one. Remember, colourful eating. Check into that Facebook group. Okay? Make sure you tag us in your journey. Stay accountable. Colourful eating, hydration. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Hit subscribe to that YouTube channel because then you'll know when new workouts come. I'll see you tomorrow for day four.